talk about 300 years in four minutes. Was it ever so apparent that we need this dialogue? I wrote a letter to the New York Times recently, which didn't get printed, which is getting to be my report with the New York Times. They said it was too personal. What it concerned itself with was, well, I was in a bit of a stew over the stall in because when the stall in was first announced, I said, oh my God, what's, now everybody's gone crazy, tying up traffic. What's the matter with them? And who needs that? And then I noticed the reaction starting in Washington and coming on up to New York among what we are all here calling the white liberal circles which was something like, you know, you Negroes, act right, or you're going to ruin everything that we're trying to do. And it got me to thinking more seriously about the strategy and the tactic that the Stalin intended to accomplish. So I sat down and I wrote a letter to the New York Times about the fact that I am of a generation of Negroes that comes after a whole lot of other generations. And my father, for instance, who was, you know, real American type American, successful businessman, very civil minded, the sort of American who puts a great deal of money a great deal of his really extraordinary talents and a great deal of passion into everything that we say is the American way of going after goals. That is to say, he moved his family into a restricted area where no Negroes were supposed to live, and then he proceeded to fight the case in the courts all the way up to the Supreme Court of the United States. And this cost a great deal of money. It involved the assistance of NAACP attorneys and so on. And this is the way of struggling that everyone says is the proper way to do it. And it eventually resulted in a decision against restrictive covenants, which was very famous, Hansberry versus Lee. And that was very much applauded. But the problem is that Negroes are just as segregated in the city of Chicago now as they were back then. And my father died a disillusioned exile in another country. That is the reality that I'm faced with when I get up and I read that some Negroes my age and younger say that we must now lie down in the streets, tie up traffic, stop ambulances, do whatever we can, take to the hills if necessary with some guns and fight back. This is the difference. Thank you.